Hello. This is a public information film. We're not joyful enough. We don't give thanks to God for what we have, the small things and the big things. We don't praise the Lord enough. So hello and welcome to our thought for the day for Tuesday, September the 29th. And I have the joy today of talking to you about Psalm 150. And here is Psalm 150. Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty heavens. Praise him for acts of power. Praise him for his surpassing greatness. Praise him with the sounding of the trumpet. Praise him with the harp and the lyre. Praise him with the timbrel and dancing. Praise him with the strings and pipe. Praise him with the clash of cymbals. Praise him with resounding cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So this psalm, it's got just 13 lines. And in each of those 13 lines, we're told to praise the Lord. Now it's sometimes called the music musician's palm, and that's because it references seven instruments, instruments that can be played in different ways. With our hands, strumming strings, clashing cymbals, beating drums, blowing into pipes. Now why am I dressed in a suit today? Well, I've had the privilege of being the verger at, at Richard Morris's um, funeral today, which Jan took. And in that funeral, Richard's um, coffin was led into the church by a, uh, a Nepalese piper playing the bagpipes. And the, the key thing that came out of me from that service was even at times of great sadness, people can still give thanks. They can still praise the life of somebody, a life that's lived well, a life that's lived to, to its full. And I was a virgin on Saturday at a wedding that Christopher took um, for a wedding that, that um, had just 18 guests. But at the end, all 18 guests left dancing to a praise song called Victory. And every single one of the guests, including the bride and groom, left the church dancing. It was so full of joy and it made me feel really quite pathetic. I don't have that sort of joy in me. Why not? The psalm says we must praise God. It says, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Everything means all of God's creation. Everything here on earth and beyond. And that includes us. But this description goes further as it says, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Breath is like the Spirit of God breathed into us to give us life. In Genesis, we are told on the sixth day, God breathed into mankind, and that's when we became living souls. So if you have life today, if you have spirit, if you have breath, let's all praise God with everything within us. And I just want to read that psalm one more time. Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty heavens. Praise him for his acts of power. Praise him for his surpassing greatness. Praise him with the sounding of the trumpet. Praise him with the harp and lyre. Praise him with timbrel and dancing. Praise God with the strings and pipe. Praise him with the clash of cymbals. Praise him with resounding cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's go and praise the Lord today. Have a great day.